Radio Scene. Guys, Imani has promised you a special treat. It's a special treat for me, and I know it's one for you guys. And uh, I'm actually excited because this show actually, you know, I said I wanted someone very special. We want to do different things on the show. We want to support indie. We want to give you guys as much information as we, we can give you. And uh, that's what Indie 360 TV is here to do. We're here for the indie artists, and we want to make sure that the indie artists actually get their shot to, uh, you know, actually show you guys what they got. And uh, we're doing it here on Indie 360 TV. So shouts out to all the indie artists from around the globe. And if you guys want to, you actually want to be on the show in my hot seat, you want to Skype me, you want to just call in, and uh, I'm going to let you guys know how you can do that at the end of the show. Sorry, I had to tease you guys. And uh, they're getting everything ready right now. We're about to have the CEO of the core DJs, Tony Neal, and he's Skyping in from wherever with his busy, busy schedule, guys. We got him on here? And uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce, introduce the CEO of Core DJs, Tony Neal. <laughs> Tony, are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. Huh. What's rocking? What's going on? Now, this is better, right? Yeah, this is, better. This is <laughs> much better, much better. And uh, yeah, the, reason why, the reason why he's saying that, guys, is because we tried this, but our connections were a little off because, you know, Tony's such a busy guy and he's traveling everywhere. We had to make sure we get it correct for you guys. So Tony promised he would come back, and uh, here he is. Thank you so much, Tony. All right, I'm here. What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> We're jumping into it right now. Now, we all know you as Tony Nail, the DJ, of course, and uh, the CEO <laughs> of Core DJs. But do you actually still get up there and DJ and do your thing? All the time. So, all the time. Who actually inspired you to become a DJ? Uh, my uncle. <laughs> my uncle with me stealing his equipment. <laughs> Watching him DJ and me stealing his equipment. That's, you know, that was one of my um, inspirations. And uh, it's probably a few. Uh, Mixed Master Ice. It's probably a few of them. Because we all want to do Mixed Master Ice. Mixed Master Ice is scratching. He had the ninja suits and all that stuff. So I think that that was one of them, too. Did you ever get caught stealing your uncle's equipment? Yeah, he came and he came and got me six months later after he, he realized it was gone. I get I think some of his broke down, and he <laughs> had come up try to get he came to get the reserves and I and I and I took it. How old were you <laughs> at that time? Yeah, uh, maybe I think. 14, 15, 14, 15 years old. Yeah, something like that. Because I was gonna say, if you were any younger, you probably would have got a butt whooping, huh? Yeah, about 14, 15. So he ran up on me while I was trying to DJ a gig. And, uh, so I had some little tavern, and he and he heard, and somebody, one of my uncles squealed on me and told told that I was there. And uh, he came and got me. Now, before DJing and the music business, where, was there any other career that you actually considered? Uh, human services. I was, uh, well, I was in the Army first, but uh, human services, you know, social working. Now, I, had a, I got a degree in, in uh, an associate's in social work. Oh, wow. So what, yes. what, what is it like actually being a DJ in what we would call the Midwest, actually where you're originally from? Uh -huh. Well, I mean, the best thing about the Midwest is we played everything. We didn't have any, we didn't have any denominations on what we played. Like it, and when I was coming up, well, now it's not like that at all. But when I was coming up, it was either you played the West Coast, you played the East Coast, you played down South. You know what I'm saying? But now, it's what we always did anyway. The Midwest, we always played everything already. So basically, when you were coming up, it was just like, you know, every DJ. It wasn't like every DJ for himself, kind of how it could be now. It was more of like a family thing, a unity thing with every DJ helping each other out. I mean, not you know, not not so much, not so much that it was just uh, it's just that we didn't have any, we didn't have any, you know, whole. You play this coast, and we we didn't have that, you know, it, we really didn't have that until like even with Twisters and Nelly out and all that different stuff, we didn't we didn't have any denomination. We still played everybody else's stuff too. Okay, so, how, how did you pretty much uh, go about making your name well known? growing up in and as DJing in clubs and stuff like that because you did say you started in clubs and stuff uh coming back and forth to Miami uh like in 93 I just started jumping on the bus and coming back and forth to Miami and, and then going to different conferences and uh making myself known in the conferences you know what I'm saying 
Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so in your opinion, what's the difference between the DJs now compared to the DJs back in the day? Uh, uh, the DJs now and the DJs back in the day, we worked harder. Um, we worked harder. You have some DJs that work harder, but with technology, it made it made it made it real easy for some of these DJs to get in the game, which I don't think is fair to a lot of us uh, that got out here and grinded and made it. Hard. It just made it too easy for some people to get in and charge less money. I, I think that the new DJs cheating themselves, talented but cheating themselves because of the technology. I hear so many other DJs that can come and they don't realize it until. Another DJ comes with another laptop. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So they don't realize they don't realize how how they're being cheated until somebody comes in and does the same thing to them. So I, that's what I think. I think they made it easier. I, I, I don't knock that technology, but I just think it's too easy to do everything now because of technology. And still getting out grinding, and I don't think that's our legends. I haven't heard of a, 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 a the last legend that I was. Uh, you know, I just. You know, that'd be a whole nother discussion on this show. So <laughs> it, it just I just don't think that the internet makes legends. You know what I'm saying? I think it make it makes temporary situations. So So basically you think internet and computers have made them lazy. You're you're more about footwork. Oh yeah, I think that they should combine both. I think they should do both. I think they should, you know, if they can, I think they should do both. Definitely. Now, you created something that was called the Core DJs. Now, I want to jump into that. Who and what are the Core DJs? Just a unit of DJs helping each other. A family, a family of DJs. That's 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 what it's about. It's not a crew. It's a it's an organization. We help. Not only we help each other, we help DJs within the uh, outside of our that's affiliated with us too. Also, and uh and the models the same thing. You know, we do the same thing. I would see if it worked with the models in the '06. End of 06, 05, the course started in 06. I wanted to see if I could do the same thing with models, and it worked out. And here we are, seven and eight years later. So, you know. So the core DJs has been around for seven years, you say? Eight. Course, eight. seven models, uh, eight. Core models, six and a half. And how did the organization first begin? Uh, me being in another organization and, and decided it wasn't being done the right way and left and just did it my way, you know what I'm saying? Just took it more on a, a family and a family approach instead of a, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I just did yeah. it that way instead of how they were running it by only circling by one person. You know, I needed it to be, I needed to be something that everybody was involved instead of one person just getting the shine and that was it. Definitely, definitely. Because nowadays you notice it's all about everyone for themselves, but they do say if you move as a pack in a group, you know, you make more noise and, you know, you actually open more doors. Yeah, that's right. You do. So for the aspiring DJs watching the show, how does someone actually become a member of the Core DJs organization? Referrals from other DJs in the Core, not me. So you don't, they don't like bring them to you and you like see what they got, like their DJing skills and stuff? Yeah, the, yeah, the DJs in the core refer them and I just, you know, research them. They refer them and I research them. They don't come, you know, a lot of people try to come straight to me and I don't, I, I just send them to wherever they, who in that market. If they don't know, if they don't know the DJs, if they don't, if they don't know the DJs, yeah. um, then, uh. I don't see why they're being something that they don't want, that they don't know about, know nothing about. You know, just don't go by hype. Just learn some about it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Now I'm gonna ask you, what is MSL? Uh, I'm making mention, of course, of Dallas. You know, May 2012, and uh, you know, ATL August 2012. Mm, what mix? Mix your lie? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> MSL. Yeah, mix your lie. <laughs> Yo, mix 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 your lie, but just more. Um, we involve more programmers and we and uh and more uh more stations and in involved with Mix Show Live. Like it like I said, the name says it so we add, we added more Mix Show DJs, more more Mix Show situations to it. You know what I'm saying? 
definitely. For those who are just watching Indy360 TV, we're here with the CEO of Core DJs, Tony Neal, and we're talking about Mix Show Live. Now, Tony, in what other ways can any artist get involved with the Core DJs other than Mix Show Live? Uh, I mean, I don't, it depends. There's all kinds of ways. What do you mean? Get how, involved. How can the artist get involved with Mix Show Live? Like, do you have performers? Do you... You know, basically, yeah, when we get ready, when we get ready to announce it, they just call that 800 number, the 877-333-9940. And uh, just get on there. And it's all of us. All of us got lines on there. More, more so for me, hit Tracy on extension, too, because I don't really answer mine that much. <laughs> now, we <laughs> yeah, know you, so. you, you pretty much played everywhere. So in your opinion, what is the best way for an indie artist to get their, you know, their hit song what they would think is their hit song played by a DJ in clubs, et cetera. Well, the word indie artist and hit song don't go together. Seriously? First. Nah. nah. I said what they think Everybody. is their hit song. Every, their hit song. Everybody. Everything. It's not a hit until it's made a hit. That's a good song. What, what would make a hit in a DJ's opinion? What makes yeah, a hit for an artist? Hit. The, the people, the crowd response is a hit. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah. the DJ is playing to make it a hit. It don't come out. The, it don't come out the studio a hit unless you're an established artist that got a hit. Definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't never had a hit, you can't say you got a hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's respect. So, so how can the so, artist actually go about getting their song played by a DJ I, I, like you? I get a listen. I always get a bunch of links sent to me on Twitter, which I don't uh -huh. get from pop artists, but that's another whole another conversation. <laughs> okay. So, so um, you know, um. Sending me links and saying, check out my new Smash single and my hit single. Then I go check Media Base and BDS. It ain't even registered. Oh, it wow. It ain't even written the record. <laughs> ain't even mixed and mastered. Then you don't have a smash. You don't have a hit yet. You know what I'm saying? And until you start doing the basics, you don't have a hit. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have an image, you don't have a hit. If your image can't fit with the record that you're saying, you don't have a hit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so that's a lot of things to determine somebody getting a hit. So I would prefer them to work it in the street at home and all that stuff before they hit me because I might tell them the truth. And then if they still be persistent with me, then I'm going to ask for a budget. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, you know, nowadays so would, they're saying I would, with... I would, but, but listen, I would rather them not make it, try to make it easy because the internet made it easy to think they could just tweet or hit somebody on a message. I think, I think that they should still go out and try to work this stuff in the streets instead of sitting around and hitting all these DJs online for nothing when they ain't got no buzz at home. And then you go check their home background and they ain't got nothing going on at home. So basically you would, you, you respect when the artist should actually get it popping in their own town, actually do the footwork. Like you said, which you respect footwork and go out there and hand out the CDs and network in their own hometown before they try to go out elsewhere. Right. That's right. Okay, we can respect that because a lot of artists, like you said, they are using the internet nowadays because even you'll see, like, I go on Google a lot. Now, I do my research. I'm nosy like that, you know. Like I said, I did my research on YouTube. And I saw on, on you, on YouTube, there was actually a video you were speaking to a couple other DJs and telling them, you know, you can't really rep where you're from at home. You got to actually go out and rep That's right. where you're from. Can you just elaborate on that a little bit more? It, it, it. You just gotta. You always remember where you're from. But you gotta spread. After you get so far at home, you gotta move around and, and spread your hustle around. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, that's that's what you need to do. You don't just. It's, it's you don't just go home. I mean, you don't just say you repping home and all yeah. that. And, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. It, 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 it don't make sense. I'm. I'm. I'm I got the city on my back, but if you got the city on your back and you repping where you from, mm -hmm. the where you taking it around the city, That's it don't true. it just don't it don't make sense if you don't leave and, and and represent where you from. Definitely. Now, so many indie artists, as we call them, are complaining that the labels pretty much want them to do everything. So, with record label budgets budgets getting tighter, it seems like the big labels are no longer willing to spend money to develop the new artists. What do you think? It's only, uh, it's only three big labels. It's, it's it's a thousand rappers and three labels. And what what are those three labels? You know, uh, Interscope is an indie, but it's still up under Universal. So you say Universal is the BMI system and Warner Brothers. That's it. So do you think? I mean, I as, mean I, 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 sorry, sorry, not the ahead. RCA, the RCA system, 
which is uh, Sony and Columbia and everybody else. So I say it's the Sony system, the Universal system, and the Warner Brothers system. It's only three. It's only three major. So why would anybody take a chance on? And it's two thousand artists. So who who gonna get signed? Like you know, why like everybody you- compl- everybody complained and cried about Trinidad James, but yeah, Trinidad James is a is a is a brand. He's not just a artist and he's not just making records but look at him his style and everything he came and did something different and had everybody talking about him until he gets signed then when he gets signed everybody complaining you, you know you vouch for him you play his record you made his record the number five record in the country you vouch for him but now he got a deal now you don't like him it's crazy yeah it, it definitely is definitely is why would you call the labels a system though i heard you say system after you talked about each label what makes them a system it, it is a system. Well, what else would it be? What else? They have a system. It's a business. It's just anything that's a business has to have a system. You know what I'm saying? If, if you don't have a system, then you're not a business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of people call themselves a business, but they don't even have a system. They call you and ask for help. And they tell you what they want you to help them with. They don't even know what they want to do to themselves. They oh, think wow. they know because they don't have a system yet. In established in the business so they go backwards and they make a business and all that but they don't even have a system they don't even know how they want to do they don't want to carry out the business they don't even know what they want to do to have a business because you got because you have money that don't mean you have a business you know That's what i'm saying true. that definitely is true that definitely yeah, is true because i feel you can have as much money yeah, as you want but if you don't know what to do with it you kind of just you're yeah, just t-shirts, sitting t-shirts and chains don't make you a label definitely Definitely. Now, what advice can you give the indie artist who is only an artist? And uh, I mean, someone who's not necessarily an entrepreneur, not good at business, as what we were just saying, web design, social media. I mean, the technical side of it, everything, audio, video production. But they're only good at singing and rapping. Like where uh, where it, would what would you say is the first either step? They, you get some help or write for somebody. And that's it. <laughs> and that's help. it. Yeah, that's it. You're cutting if it you right don't know there. None of other, if you don't know none of that other stuff you just said, then you, you need to just be in the background writing for somebody else <laughs> that knows how to do it or that, learn how to do it yourself. You know definitely. what I'm saying? Learn how to get all your networking game up. Because if you don't know none of that, like the internet stuff, and you, know, you, know, you don't have a publicist, you know, you, you know, none of that. Yeah. You ain't, you're, not web, you're not web savvy. None of that like that. You might as well just not even be in the game. True. Like you might as well just be in the background <laughs> A ghostwriter for somebody else that's that's savvy. Definitely. Before I let you go, I got to ask you, as being, you know, I would call you an entrepreneur, a DJ, such a big, big dude who's doing it really big. I, I, I'm sure there's more, but what are three keys that you would say a DJ needs to be, uh, you know, a mainstream DJ or have a, a long, a long, what we would call a long, a longevity in, in being a DJ? Brand yourself. Brand yourself. Nobody can brand you like you. That's the first thing. Brand yourself. And uh, second thing, don't be local. That's the other thing. You know, don't be local. Once you get to a certain point, move around. No matter how many people at home call you Hollywood, once you move around, just move around. They'll respect it later when they start seeing you on TV and Mm -hmm. magazines. And, uh, I mean, first, the third, the third thing is always keep up with what's going on in the times. Don't date yourself. Yeah. Don't Definitely. don't make yourself old and disgruntled. Once you start complaining about, if you was out when LL come came out and you start <laughs> complaining about Trinidad James, and it's time for you to stop DJing. Oh, definitely. <laughs> it's time for you. If you complaining about Soldier Boy and all the music that's out right now, then you might want to start looking into some other ventures. You might want to just quit because of, I mean, you dating yourself. Because I remember at one time they used to talk about our music, talk crazy about our music when we was coming up, the older demographic. Now, when you start catching yourself do that, that means you old and that means you need to get your ass out the way. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely, definitely. There are some people who just need to sit down. But, of course, you're not one of them. Before I let you go, Tony, now I want to thank you so much. Do you have any shots, shout outs or, you know, let the people know how they can network with you and find you. Man, just go to my Twitter. I am Tony Neal on Twitter. And if there's any business calls, 877-333-9940, extension 2 for Tracy, for me. And and there's other other extensions on there. But if you're trying to do business with me or 
you know what I'm saying? I start off any other miners, you just hit my manager, Tracy, at extension two. And uh make your own free page at CoreDJs.com. You know, do that. Go to CoreDJs.com and make your own page. And uh that's it. And one more thing, blazetrack.com slash I am Tony Neal for independent records. If you just want to be persistent, because I'm not listening to links on Twitter. Okay. So it's blazetrack.com, blazetrack.com slash I am Tony Neal for, for me to do feedback on music. And I do live feedback videos and all that. That's it. Thank you so much, Tony, again, for coming. You're officially a part of the Indy360 TV family. And uh, shout out to Core DJs. Again, people, the CEO of Core DJs, Tony Neal. Thank you so much, Tony, for coming through. Now, people, we're going to go to a quick little break. I told you that was too hot to handle. There was so much information jam-packed in. Again, shout out to CEO Core DJ, Tony Neal, for stopping by. This is Indie 360 TV. Guys, make sure you stick around. We have more indie artists to show you. We'll be right back. Let me redefine four plays. Do you need five? And tell me, Shardy, you got it, baby. If it's not it, baby, hope it's progress, baby. Let it all drip, baby. So stop that shaking. We're talking, baby. We're talking, baby. Radio Scene.com. Radio Scene.com.